Hello. Today's video is about client libraries in AEM. Well, what a client library in AEM is that it's a dedicated folder where you'll put all your CSS and JS files and you will put a category on that folder and then when you specify that category to be loaded then AEM will load all those CSS and JS files in a page. It's a very powerful feature in AEM. It lets you add dependencies for your client library it lets you uh, merge multiple client libraries into a single one and it will also give you an option to minify your client libraries just with a single configuration and uh, that will also obfuscate your code so that uh, nobody will be able to read what you have written in your JS and uh, CSS files so it's a plus point from a security perspective so let's get started with that So here's a list of topics that I'm going to be covering in this video. I'll try to be as detailed as possible but if I miss out on something please uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll be more than happy to clarify things for you. So the first section is how do you create a client library in AEM. Uh, then I would cover embed and dependencies feature for, uh, for a client library. Then we'll create a page component and add our client library in our pages both using HTML and Sightly and uh, GSP as well. Then I'll cover the transitive nature of a client library when you add a client library in AEM then define its dependency then define another dependency for that dependency and uh, the chain goes on. So I'll try to cover uh, how that works in AEM. Then I'll try to cover a use case when you have uh, different client libraries at different locations but all of them have same categories and how you can use that. <clears throat> Next topic would be having your client libraries in apps folder instead of etc and how do you access that client library from apps folder uh, on a publish instance. I'll show you a dump clips console where you can uh, list out all the client libraries that uh, you have in your AEM instance uh, listing them by their categories listing them by their paths etc and uh, that console also has an option to clear the cache uh, for your client library so that uh, new files can be generated for your client libraries and uh, the last part would be the minification of uh, a client library and how that can be enabled so let's move on to our first topic it's uh, creating our first client library well, creating a client lib is quite easy in AEM. There are just three or four steps that uh, you need to do in order to create your first client library. So uh, let's get on with it. Uh, yeah, here it is. So here I have created a client library under etc client lib. And uh, before making my actual client library, I have created a folder. That folder is gonna act as a parent for all the client libraries that my project is gonna have. So that is a segregation that we need. All of our client library code will be inside a single folder and uh, that will be quite easy to maintain instead of having some client libs here, some client libs there. So after creating this parent folder, we need to create a client library folder. So this client library folder is of type uh, CQ colon client library folder. Uh, its type needs to be specifically this or it won't be a client library. The third thing is that you need to add some files in your client library pertaining to your CSS and your JS code. And uh, the last thing is that editing your filter.xml. I'll just show all these things to you first. So let me just log in on my AEM. So I have put my client libraries under etc client libs. So I need to go over there etc client libs AEM. Yeah. And this is my parent folder. This AEM it's my parent folder where I'm putting all the client libraries that I'm going to be creating. And uh, this is my first client library. It's uh, as I as I mentioned earlier, it's of a type CQ client library folder. This is the primary type of this uh, folder, and uh, it needs to have this primary type in order to be a client library. The second thing that we need to do for this client library is to have categories for this. 
so a categories is a property in this uh, client library folder its name is category its type is uh, string array and uh, its value can be anything that uh, you want to have this uh, client library for basically what a category is that uh, when you are referring to your client library you are going to be referring to your client library from uh, this category itself you won't be doing a uh, script src equals to something because you won't be loading up those client libraries by their path you will be loading up those client libraries by their categories so a client library can have multiple categories another thing that i mentioned as uh, creating some files inside your client library so the two files that should be there in a client library is uh, your css.txt and your js.txt the name of these files is exactly as as i mentioned and it's pretty self explanatory that this js.txt has something to do with javascript so this single js.txt file is used for listing all the javascript files that you have in your uh, this client library you need to write each and every file in a separate line and the path of uh, these files should be relative to this js.txt file so suppose if i have a folder let's uh, let's just create this folder i have a folder named js here and i'm creating a new js file inside this folder um so now i have this folder js and it has uh, another uh, javascript file so now what i need to do is i need to list that file in uh, js.txt itself i'll explain this hash base uh, in a bit uh, but uh, let's just put up the file name first okay so i have included this and uh, let's just check if uh, our client library is updated Okay, I have not written anything in that sample.js. Well, it is working now. The last part in this client lab is being loaded from this uh, sample.js, which is inside this uh, folder.js itself. Now, let's try one other thing. Inside this js.txt, I'll use that uh, hash base directive that I mentioned earlier. So, uh, I'm sorry. So, I'll just write the uh, hash base equals to js um, and load our client lab again. It's uh, still loading that second file from that uh, js folder. So what this directive hash base means is that uh, all the files that are listed after this directive will have a common folder which is uh, the value of this uh, directive. So when I write hash base equals to JS, essentially what that means is that all the files that are listed after this directive, they are inside a folder named uh, JS. So that is why I'm still able to load this client lab as uh, I was able to earlier when I was using uh, absolute paths for uh, listing in uh, js.txt. One other thing that I want to mention here is the order in which you are listing out these files is uh, important. The client library is loaded on the basis of this order. So I have written this sample.js as my first line in this js.txt. So its code will be uh, loaded first and uh, after that the code for this uh, second uh, javascript file. Let's just swap the places for this in order to be sure. And uh, you can use multiple hash bases. Uh, okay. So this one is loaded first because now it's mentioned first in js.txt and uh, this one is loaded after that. So the order matters for these txt files in the client library this js.txt and this css.txt and uh, inside the css.txt I'm also using this hash based directive so it can be used here as well. One other thing that I want to mention here is that in order to see that if your client library is working you can just uh, copy the path to your client library and then you can 
paste the path after after that this extension dot js then it'll load your client library's javascript file and uh, let's just let's just try that with css i have uh, i have copied this path and uh, let me just paste it and append dot css over here so it's loading my client library's css one other thing is that let's just suppose we don't have this css.txt file here let me delete it and save it what should happen now this css it won't work anymore yeah so i'm getting this exception now because uh, this client library does not have a css.txt file so this link will work only if there's a css.txt file in my client library be it empty but it should be there if you want to make this link work one last thing that i want to mention is where these client libraries are stored in aem so i have created single javascript and css files in my client library but cq will be creating a single file consolidating all of these uh, separate files as in this case it's a single file which is nothing but the combination of all of those uh, separate files that are there in that uh, client library and cq will be storing those individual single uh, client library files in its cache so let me just show you where that cache resides so it's under var client libs and uh, after that your folder so i have created uh, that client lib inside etc client libs and let me just refresh am and then my client library dot css which was this one and uh, dot js which was this one so these are the cached files that uh, cq has created for me if i want to clear my client library's cache in order to refresh it i can uh, delete this folder or i can go to dumplips console and uh, do it from there let me just delete this folder from here and uh, let's see when we load our client lib again what happens so when i reload this page having my client library's js then these files should have been created here again so this js file has been created again i have not visited that css link so that's why there's no css file in this folder so client libraries are created and cached only when they are requested for they are not uh, created on their own so that was about creating our first client libs i apologize this video is getting a bit lengthier than i originally expected it to be what i'll do is i'll do a follow up video explaining uh, all these different topics that uh, i was not able to cover in uh, in this video uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video please do like comment and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to upload more of the good stuff thank you